What's going on, y'all? Yeah, you ready, right? How I got bullied my first year in the NFL. And what I found out 10 years later. You got it right. So I'm going to dive right into it. Now, this is, hey, listen, 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 please. This is my, my, my experience. My experience. This is my truth, right? Okay. I'm going to dive right into it. So high school, college, NFL, you know, it's all levels, right? It's a pecking order, right? Especially in sports. You know, you got your veterans, then you got your rookies, right? Your first year, second year, third year player. It goes down. College, you got your seniors, and it goes all the way down. It's a pecking order. So you got to respect the pecking order. You can, you just can't come in like your shit don't stink and like you, the, you know what I'm saying, like you the man. You know, unless, unless they're paying you guaranteed money to come in and do so. So it's based off that as well in the NFL. But anyways. I'm an undrafted free agent. So some of you probably don't know. Whatever. You probably don't know anything about football. But long story short, undrafted free agent. I come out. My year I come out. There are three guys that get drafted on the offensive line position. I'm a defensive line. And that right there, that gave me a chip on my shoulder. I came to mini count, rookie mini count with a chip on my shoulder. And you know what? Rookie mini count, I was kicking ass. I was kicking their ass, boy. And they could they could attest to it. all the guys that I played against the rookie the, the guys that came in with me you can you can look them up and and, and met you whatever you want to do I was kicking ass and that's not even trying to up myself up but that's what it was and another thing was I kept number sixty eight because they would give the undrafted in the late round the undrafted guys O lineman number so I'm a D line what the hell I what the, why the hell you give me number sixty eight so I felt slighted from the get go. You know, so somebody had to pay. So that's the reason why I kept number 68 my whole career, right? But anyways, I'm going to get right into it. So the NFL is, man, it's, it's very, it's territorial, right? It's like, you no, know, it's a bunch of lions in there and it's territorial. They, they want, you know, everybody claim that space. So you get in there, you got you to find your space. You, I mean, you could get lost. You could get lost in the sauce without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? So you got to find yourself in there, right? And uh, right after the first, my first practice, right, we had the rookie mini camps. I did my thing against all the rookies and all the guys that I came with. And then we had the, the team camp with everybody together a month later in June. So here's my chance to show them what I really got. You saw me against these guys that you drafted, and you know I was dominating, right? So there's two guys that I knew after my first practice I had to worry about. That was... Ed Johnson and Raheem Brock, two veteran guys, and I'm going to tell you why, right? I knew after my first practice, these guys was very standoffish, wasn't inviting, wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't expect nobody to be friendly because we all trying to make a living for ourselves, but at the same time, this, you wouldn't even think we on the same damn team, you know what I'm saying? So what will happen is, and I'm going to explain how in the hell I was getting bullied, NFL is all, everything is about beating your guy one-on-one. -on -one. You got to beat the beat your guy one-on-one. -on -one. We would do one-on-one -on -one against the old lineman, and I know that it was, a, it was a damn trend that I hated. The veterans used to do one-on-ones with only, well, they used to do one-on-ones against the veterans. They wouldn't go against the rookies. So Ed Johnson, and Ed Johnson had like a damn eight-year vet. It was only his second damn year. So these veterans... Like Charlie Johnson, O lineman, Ed Johnson, D, D lineman, they will always go against each other when it's time to do a pass rush rep. So if if either one of them lose, it'll be a wash. Ain't no harm, no foul. But if Ed Johnson were to go against these rookie O linemen that I was tearing their ass up, now you got to rethink this. Either that rookie O lineman is ready, or you need to start looking at somebody else. But Ed Johnson get his ass getting his ass kicked because we just seen O. Eric Foster just whooped his ass like it ain't nothing every day. So long story short, I would go up and I try to get a rep with uh, against the veterans, and I get a tap on my hip. Now I'm in front, I'm about to put my hand in the dirt, and here come get a tap on my hip. Hey big dog, I got this rep. So Ed, Ed Johnson ass get me up out of there. But you know you want to be respectful. You know it's a pecking order. You understand it? Then all right, let me go to the other side. I would go to the other side. I'm about to put my hand in the dirt. I get a tap on my hip. Now, this, this mother, he wouldn't even say nothing. He like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Raheem Brock, he wouldn't even say nothing. So I'm like, God damn, this happened four days in a row. Man, I got 
got fed up with that. I got fed up, man. I, man, I went home, man. I say, man, I started practicing in the mirror. I say, man, here's what we're going to do, Eric. You know what I'm saying? When we get that, get to go get our rep, you feel that tap on the hip? You gonna act, act, you gotta act like you're crazy, act like you don't care. Be like, we gonna die right here today for this rep. You want it? You gotta kill me today. You know stuff like that. You know just practice little 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 things right now. This is real, like right? you know what I'm saying. Practice little things, cause man, I got fed up. I need to show my juice. I need to show what I got. So had hey, the, the the day to be reckoned with. I go up, well, I wait, right? I wait for Charlie Johnson and Ed Johnson to get one rep, right? One pass rush rep. Boom. The second go round, I didn't even go against the rookies. I'm waiting for my turn. I'm waiting for my turn. Then Charlie Johnson comes up, and I'm already there. I'm about to put my hand in the dirt. Here comes Ed bringing his ass over, tapping me over the hip. I say, he didn't even know. He caught him off guard. I say, I got this goddamn rep. I and it shocked me because I had so much energy pent up. I'm like, man, you, you about, you know what I'm saying? We about, we about to do this, you know. And then here comes John Tierling, our, uh, our D line coach. He said, Hey, get the hell out of the way. Let him take it. And boy, I knew I, I knew, I knew I had to bring it in. Charlie Johnson, he been in the league for four years already. Very crafty. Man, I hit him with that. He, 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 he. You know what I'm saying? Won the rep. And to me. That solidified me. That gave me a, a man, I'm here moment. You know what I'm saying? I just whooped this veteran ass just like I was doing the rookies. And now y'all could give me that stamp. You know what I'm saying? And went on from there. But what's, what's surprising, a few days ago, I just found out that I'm not the only survivor. You know what I'm saying? My old future Hall of Famer, Robert Mathis. I did not know he was a victim as well. Talking to him. It, it's some of the same stuff happened to him. So that surprised me. Ten years later, I thought I was the only one that kind of experienced that. Not knowing that he experienced it too. I let I let him tell y'all if you want to. But I'm just like, man, I'm not the only survivor out here. So that led me to, to say, hey, listen, please. Please. Now all you all you late round draft pick, undrafted rookies, we go we go in this we're gonna end this bullying shit, right? When you get there, right? When you get to your team, you got to make sure you are noticed. Do not let them box you out because they want to cover themselves a lot. They don't want to expose themselves. It shouldn't matter who you go against. You know what I'm saying? A rookie should feel how it feels to really go against a guy that's dominant. And, and by, You know what I'm saying? So you got to go ahead and not let them phase you out, not let them box you out and take that moment. That's all I wanted to explain to y'all how I got bullied. In the NFL, my first year, right? I'm out. You already know. Got that long?